Aloha, my name is Indigo Mathewson. I'm the owner and operator of Indigo's Healing Kitchen, which is a private chefing business on Oahu. Thank you so much, Olukai, for having me for your Anywhere Aloha Fridays. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to wild forage some ho'io fern. Um, I first started my business about seven years ago. Um, I only recently became an actual LLC about a year ago during the pandemic. And uh, what started that is I was actually in school at the time for nutrition. And um, I was also working at a restaurant. And then I had a woman reach out to me to uh, cook for her privately in her home. And it was like a really fancy apartment. And uh, I would like load up a cart every Thursday, I think it was, I'd go and take the bus like for an hour as a student <laughs> uh, to Mercer Island. This is in Seattle. And I would cook for her. I would make all of her meals for the week. And that was the beginning of my business. So generally when you're looking for ho'io, you want to look for some running fresh water. They always grow right next to the water. So I am back in my kitchen after that hike where we picked the ho'io and I went ahead and stored all the ho'io that I picked in a Ziploc bag. Ideally you want to have some damp paper towels to wrap around it and you want to get it uh, to the refrigerator as soon as you can. Um, since I came straight from the hike, I didn't even do that. I literally just came home, uh, trimmed the bottoms off just because that tends to be the tougher part of the plant and it's kind of like asparagus where you trim the bottoms off just to get rid of that, discard that. And then I cut it into about two inch long segments just lengthwise along the ho'io. Um, I got a large pot of water boiling with some salt and I just quickly blanched it about 30 seconds, minute at the most. And I immediately got it into an ice bath to stop it from cooking any further. Um, so that's what I have here is the ho'io chilling in the ice bath, quite literally. And I'm going to go ahead and strain it and show you what to do um, to make the salad that I want to show you. So I have my ho'io here in the bowl. Uh, it's all nice and drained. I got all that water off. And now I'm going to show you what to add to it next. So I have one cup um, just cherry tomatoes that I halved. You could leave them whole if you want. You could also use a regular sized tomato and just cut it into larger chunks. Um, I would maybe use like two, but it's one cup total of the chopped cherry tomatoes. Adding that to the bowl. And then I have uh, one half of a red onion sliced very thinly. Um, I also place it in a bowl with water. I like to do that with my raw onions if I'm adding it to a salad just because I think um, it makes it a little less like pungent. Like the worst thing is when you buy into a salad and you get like a chunk of just like raw onion. Um, I don't like that. So I kind of like to mild it down a little bit. And uh, so that's what I did. I added it to some water. You can let it sit for maybe like 15 minutes or so. It totally helps it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add that half a medium red onion to the bowl as well. It's okay if a little bit of that liquid gets on there because um, you're going to make a sauce eventually anyway. Okay, added my onion. Um, I also cut up some green onion, maybe just like one stalk. I kind of just like it because I feel like if you're gonna be making like an Asian style salad, green onion is essential. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that. Sliced thinly. That's maybe like a half a cup or so. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add the one tablespoon of minced ginger to the salad. It just kind of gives it that nice spicy element. I just used a microplane to grate that. I'm also going to add two teaspoons of toasted sesame seeds. I 
have a lemon here. Um, you can use any citrus you have on hand if you have uh, like calamansi would be really nice in this. Lime would even work. Um, I've also just used from Don Quixote, I bought a yuzu extract and that's really good in the salad too. Just to kind of brighten it up. I'm gonna start low and then see if I wanna add any more of the lemon. Um, so now just to kind of give it a backbone of flavors, I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, some sesame oil, toasted sesame oil, just to kind of support those sesame seeds. And for like a salty element, I'm gonna add just a little bit of fish sauce. You don't wanna go crazy with it. Usually in a, like a salad like this, a lot of people will use uh, kamaboko, which is that um, fish cake. I like that too. But I decided to kind of switch it up and the salad's gonna go with a nice seared ribeye. Mixing that so everything's evenly incorporated. just getting that ginger over everything and ho'io is really good for you it's um, really rich in omega-3 fatty acids which is like the healthy fat um, very good for your brain also helps with uh, regulating like blood sugar I read a study recently that they did on this fern specifically in 2019 about that um, overall I think it's a great Thing to incorporate into your diet because it grows here. You don't have to really go to a store to get it. Um, also, that the fact that it's so good for you, um, I think everyone should know what ho'io is and they should eat it. So I have a bone-in ribeye that I seared in my cast iron skillet. I'm going to go ahead and slice that up. Just season with a little bit of salt. And I did like a medium, medium rare. And so like I was saying before, that kamaboko normally goes with the salad, but I kind of did my own twist with it and decided to serve it with a steak. It's like, why not? <laughs> All right. So now I'm just gonna show you how to plate it. Very simple. And you can serve this with um, anything you'd like. It'd be really good with like a scoop of rice um, or like some bread if you want that. Even some like steamed purple sweet potato. Here. I have my salad here. I kind of let it sit for a few minutes just because I want those onions to get nice and marinated. Um, kind of like how I was talking about before, how soaking it in the water will make it a little less pungent. It's kind of replacing it with those flavors that I added, the lemon, the fish sauce, the ginger, and all the sesame oil. And there you have it. Thank you so much, Olukai, for featuring me for your Anywhere Aloha Fridays. I hope this recipe that I shared with you folks today inspires you and gets you out into nature this weekend. I think it's so important to use more local ingredients here in Hawaii just because we have so much beauty around us. We shouldn't have to always rely on things to be flown in or shipped in. And I hope this inspires you to do more of that. This is how you can follow me if you look me up on Instagram, it's IndyCook, I-N-D-Y-Y-C-O-O-K. And then also my uh, website is IndyCookClub.com. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a great weekend and happy Aloha Friday.